Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. This is the final video in this Management Accounts series. It's going to be a brief video, but an important one. So far in this series, I have covered what Management Accounts are, how to compile Management Accounts, and I've focused on the Profit and Loss Statement, the Balance Sheet, the Age Debtors Report, and the Age Creditors Report, because they are bog standard reports in a set of management accounts. Go back, watch from the beginning if you need to. The templates that have been created in this series are available on my website and I'll go through that at the end of this video. So this final video, I just want to cover very briefly some other reports that you could include. And that includes things like notes and analysis. So it's always good to have some sort of notes or analysis with the management accounts, noting things like profits are up or sales are down, or we've seen an increase in expenses for this reason. I usually have my notes and analysis on an email with the management accounts attached. Other reports you could include are things like graphs and charts for sales, expenses and profits and anything else, and also budget variance and Within that, we could include forecasts. So if the business has forecasts, are we meeting those forecasts? If there is a budget in place, say for expenses, are we within budget? And I'll go through some examples of that with you now. So let's close this down. So this is my first tab. This is a standard graph. And you can see I have date done by month by month. You could have year by year, quarter by quarter and then amounts. So this could be sales amounts, it could be expense amounts, it could even be profit amounts, loss amounts. But this is a great way to display these figures in a graph. And then you, we can quickly see if there's a trend, like this trend is up. If this was a sales uh, graph, we could say, well, sales are definitely increasing. Overall, we've hit all time highs in December 24. The heading here is for profits, so this could be a profits graph. This is purely an example. Graphs are very useful and they can tell you a lot of things that you might not necessarily see as quickly by looking at a column of figures like on the left here. So this graph, I could export it as like a PDF on a full page and that could be included in the set of management accounts. And you could have multiple graphs, you know, one for profits, one for sales, one for expenses. You could even have a graph for age debtors balances, you know, are our customers debts building or our debts with suppliers building? Are they decreasing? All these things can be covered in a set of management accounts. It really depends on you and what you want to create, how detailed, how creative you want to be. It also depends on your superiors. What does the director want? What does your boss want you to do? Another tab here is for budget slash forecast. So budgeting, forecasting. I've created a table this time. We have a budget amount. The actual amount it says action, I should say actual. And then we have the variance. So if this was say a sales forecast, we were forecasting sales of two and a half thousand. It was two, three fifty. So it was negative one fifty. It was down. We missed our forecast by one fifty. If this was budgeting for subcontractor costs in June twenty four, we budgeted three thousand. We were two nine eighty. So there's a variance of twenty. We're actually just below budget. So this is a great way to display financial information as a table. Along with the table or instead of a table, you can have the same information appear in like a bar chart. So in this table, I have blue as the budget or forecast and orange as the actual amount. And this is taken from the table to the left here. So once again, this can show important information. Be creative. These are just an example. Now, if you've been watching this series on YouTube, you're much better to have watched it on my website. So freebookkeepingaccounting.com, click on free stuff, find the management accounts course. These courses are all for free. They're all online. There's loads and loads of them. 
um, including accounting software. So management accounts, here we go. If I click on this, this is the course that you've just taken, but there are interesting notes, there's text, there's questions. It's a lot more beneficial. And then these are the links to the actual videos. There's also uh, the templates that you can download. This is the profit and loss template, balance sheet template, and there are much more. If you found this useful, go check out the course on my website, but also my other courses. If this course has been interesting, I suggest you take my financial analysis course next, which is here. And this will dive into financial reports in more detail. So formulas you can do to get a great insight into the financials of a business or company. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll speak to you in another video.